Well, happy Thursday night, everybody, and welcome to Freedom House TV. Great to have you here. My name is Dave from the Freedom House. It's wonderful to be able to invite you to just a little mini get-together on a Thursday night. We had a wonderful Sunday last Sunday where Brian was talking about the thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, and... Uh, I don't know about you, but I've had a good chance to be able to practice that this week. <laughs> Practicing the thrill of hope as the weary world rejoices. But the amazing uh, part about it is that uh, we get a chance every single day to be able to practice that and put it into and put it into uh, into play into our world. Uh, we are um, not that far away from the It's a Wonderful Brantford Life uh, game show that uh, we're going to be, uh, or It's a Wonderful Brantford game show coming up next Wednesday. Um, and uh, we're going to be broadcasting it. You'll be able to see the links through the Freedom House social media. And uh, tonight's Thursday night, so uh, the deadline for contestants is like tomorrow. So we're going to make it. Uh, that's going to be the deadline for you. Uh, you are, are really for uh, other other folks who you might know in the community uh, as well, potentially as you. But we're hoping that we can find some different folks in the community who uh, are going to jump in and be contestants. So uh, the link will be in the, the the description of this uh, this uh, recording tonight so you can either uh, apply for it or you can share the link to somebody who uh, might want to be able to be a contestant on the game show. Uh, earlier this week, Aaron and I did a quick chat about the It's a Wonderful Brand for Game Show and let's go back in time and, and take a quick look at that. We are, uh, we are live here on uh, Frosty Fest's Facebook page and uh, The Kindness Project's Facebook page and uh, what else? Freedom House's Facebook page. It's me, Dave. Hi, how are you? This is, uh, we are uh, coming to you in a chat a little bit about It's a Wonderful Brantford Game Show. Aaron is joining me. Hello. Hi, Aaron. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, listen, we are now, I guess, a week and a day away from our. Brantford game show. So, okay, if you're watching, just uh, throw throw a little uh, "Hey, how are you?" in the comments. Love to be able to see who's who's watching with us. And we, so this is a this is a, your chance if you're watching to be able to jump into a game show that we're doing live with uh, through Freedom House's uh, YouTube or Facebook page next week, and we're giving away hundreds of dollars of local prizes. And you can apply today. We need six families to be able to be a part of the game show, and it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Hello, Melinda. Nice to see you. Good to be able to have you here. If you want to jump in, I'll, I'll hang. Oh, you know what I'll do. Right in the in the bio of this of this thing, there is a link to the contestant uh, to the actual application form. I'll put it in the comments here as well. We got Ashley's here. Hey, Ashley. We have Heather. We have Sam. Hi, everybody. Glad you're hanging out with us. Okay, Aaron, we're doing a game show. Tell me mm -hmm. about the game show. What's going to happen? Well, it's going to be so much fun. It's going to uh, be really easy to play, and it's for families. So it isn't just like for uh, people with like older teenagers. Like this is a game that younger kids will be able to play as well. Um, it's going to be just really fun, easy, and you get to the chance to win hundreds of dollars of local prizes. And uh, you, you know, you, you don't have to be a whole family, but you need at least two people. You need at yes, least yes. Two people to, to yeah. play the game. Now, the game itself, the game show, it's a really neat thing. It's going to look like sort of a big Christmas scavenger hunt type thing, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be mm -hmm. an absolute blast uh, to be able to do, and it's going to be easy. And it's going to be easy to win is the other thing. Like this is uh, very easy to win some extra fun for your Christmas for sure. This is not like when you play Jeopardy and you get to double Jeopardy and you don't know who the czar of uh, Russia was in the early, the early 14th century and you're lost. No, it's going to be way easier than that. So yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, okay, so uh, this is part of our It's a Wonderful Brand for Life um, campaign at Freedom House. And you and I have spent the last couple of weeks going around to different small businesses and buying uh, gift gift certificates and gift cards for the prizing for this. Where are some of the places that people can win prizes from? Yeah, so we can, uh, prizes include the, the Kingswood Restaurant over in West Brant. And nice. it was very exciting to go over there and just really... Um, 
like the waitresses were nearly in tears when we kind of explained what we we're doing. They've just gone through a bit of a, a tough time over there. So we're really excited to be able to uh, invest some money there. Uh, there is uh, Wild Rose uh, Handmade Soaps over there near Dairy Delight. And they're really awesome. They also heard what we were doing and wanted to chip in even more. So already we've been able to um, pay it forward of sorts. Uh, there's Keeley's Jewelry as well over there uh, on King George Road. And again, another great, great local family business that we really got to uh, have a great chat with and, and excited to bless them this Christmas by investing in them. Like three generations over at Keeley's yeah. Jewelers, right? So that's pretty incredible. I see Ryan Campbell. I like the thing. Good to see you, Ryan. There's Mark McAllister. So this is a um, – we, we did this because we want – to encourage people to think about what's local. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, right? Because we had the experience of, we we wanted to, we were, we were choosing to invest uh, locally to be able to just encourage people and uh, in, in the community through things like this game show and a few other things. But we had to stop and look and go, all right, so what actually is a local business? What constitutes a local business? And and it was neat to be able. And we, you know, we we weren't able to be able to get to to, to everything, but we had to, we sort of chose a a wide array. And there's a few different levels of how we're going to be able to give stuff to. But we wanted to do something fun that people just got uh, to. Oh, you know the other thing, Cardia Ninjas. Yes. So it's a it's a ninja gym that's opening up um, over in the uh, old rope factory area back in there. And uh, our friend Joel Smith is opening this up in early next year. And uh, you could like win a month a month at a ninja gym. Like you could come away with a whole new like career as a ninja is ninja a career. I mean, I think that's a little ambitious, but at least you can have a really good month of building up your upper body strength. Melinda's from the Meeting House in Brantford. It'd be, be wonderful to, to have you participate. Yeah. So Melinda, really, the uh, it's a wonderful Brantford Life campaign that we're doing is just we we took some of our uh, what we would normally do to be able to invest in the community at Freedom House over Christmas, um, and we said let's just we're gonna kind of kickstart this. And we just went and found some local businesses. We're able to, and we're uh, giving money to our kindness center, our uh, money. We're giving gift cards from local grocery stores and things like that to our, our kindness center clients. We're going to use some to be able to encourage others in the community. And then this game show is a way to be able to just remind people that spending local means something and, and encourage one another. So Melinda over at the meeting house would love you to be, that'd be amazing. Jump on, just encourage people to be able to spend local, but do it on purpose purpose too, right? Like, so we're going to, uh, today really we want, we, we need at more families is that we have some that we're, we've got who are ready, but we need six families to jump in. And, uh, so Melinda being able to share that, if you've got families, uh, that would be, uh, blessed by this or would just have fun or it would just be whatever. Like people are going to come away with a really easy fistful of local stuff. So, so, in, find some people and, and encourage them to go, Hey, fill out this little application form. We'll get back to you. And uh, we're going to do it. We, we wanted to do it in person. Truth be told, we desperately wanted to have like a game show in person, but as it turns out, we're in the middle of a pandemic. And so it's going to be this virtual online uh, game show that you'll be able to see through freedom houses, social media, uh, and the date is, oh wait, I even got a thing. Ba boom. It's a wonderful brand for game show, December 6th. Look at that. So, it's a it's an easy and and even if you're not playing, you should watch it and be a part of it. And and it's it's a way just to be able to get thinking about what can we do and like little things like the Cardia Ninjas place. We went over there and they're in the middle of getting everything ready to be able to open in the new year. And we realized we were their first client to buy a gift, like because they're not open yet. So we bought gift cards. We're like, yeah, we got to be the first actual client at the at the ninja mm -hmm. gym. And, and it's such an encouragement, like, and that's the thing. And you, you mentioned just a little there, Aaron, that when you go and you encourage small business owners on purpose and you go, I'm, I'm doing this because I care about you and don't, and, and just to remind them that people are still there and people care yeah. in, in the community, right? That's, that's one of my favorite parts of this whole thing. Yeah, and I feel like we, we did a pretty good job actually of doing a cross section of, so it's not just you know, downtown Brantford, but you and I have done a pretty good tour of Brantford over the last couple of weeks. And I feel like a, a good variety of both different locations and also uh, different kinds of businesses. So I think uh, the whoever wins 
these gift cards will really find there's something for everyone in these gift packs. Yeah. So, um, w the, the way to be able to, to stay, stay in touch with it is like, it's a wonderful Brantford life on Facebook. Um, that's, uh, where we're sort of, um, gathering some of the stories. If you go and you spend local on purpose over the next little bit, We'd love if you if you tag us just so we can we can see you need an encouragement need encouragement mm -hmm. for it to be able to know that uh, others are out shopping local and uh, as um, oh we had a we had a comment here who said this who said this uh, Corey said it's a uh, this sounds wonderful and Corey it is going to be wonderful and you can play so you should you should uh, fill out the just the link for the little mini contestant application and you see you got a little guy there I guarantee this would be a fun a fun thing to do and um, if you uh, follow it's a wonderful brand for life on Facebook and for Freedom House on Facebook we'll have the details about how you can watch it and where you can watch it um, on December the 16th Sam so she mm -hmm. can't wait to play. Very, oh, very, yeah. nice, nice. Very nice, very nice. So this is going to be tons of fun. And I, I'm not sure, uh, let's see where, where you guys are watching. Some on the Frosty Fest page, some on the Kindness Project page. Uh, if you're uh, uh, watching on Frosty Fest and we're the ones that put on Frosty Fest every year from Freedom House. And we're, uh, we're working at trying to find a scaled back way of... <laughs> Of doing Frosty Fest, obviously with uh, everything that's happening. Uh, Tina says hi to you. Oh, hello, Tina. <laughs> we're we're working at. Obviously, we can't do the full Frosty Fest this year, but we're trying to find ways. And and so that's what we do at Freedom Houses. We look for creative ways to be able to engage and bless our community. And so that's uh, where it's a wonderful Brantford life and it's a wonderful Brantford kink, uh, game show came from. And we should mention uh, that we're partnering with our friends over at All Day Breakfast. Uh, they're mm -hmm. producing this show for us. And um, they are... Uh, they are really, really wonderful folks, Ben and Bernie over there. So you can find the information on their Facebook page as well. And uh, can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a really easy application form too. It's not like, you know, signing up to Amazing Race or, you know, you have to give over your firstborn or, or whatever. This application is like a quick 30 seconds. You can put it in and have a chance to have a lot of fun and win some prizes. Imagine a game show where part of it was to give up your firstborn. What an yeah, awful, pretty intense commitment. I don't know if that's the way we're gonna go. Uh, seems a little icky, but <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, we're not going down that road. That's not part of it. But you're you're gonna. I mean, if you play, I'll just guarantee you, you're gonna win great stuff. And uh, and uh, we've got we even have some uh, interesting kindness twists. So there's there's yeah, like intriguing, there's intriguing. A, there's a twist to it. Don't tell anybody. So what? it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right. Who's, who's, who's hanging out with us here? If you're, if you haven't said hi, just make a comment in the, uh, in the comments here. I'd love to be able to say hi and uh, say thanks for joining. Glad Melinda from uh, the Brantford meeting house jumped in. We love mm. the meeting house. Love those guys. We'll give another second just for people to throw a comment up. I'd love. To, I'm, cu I'm always curious to see who's watching these things. Mm -hmm. You go live, and you never, you never totally know. So, all right, five, four, three, two, one. Nah, no one's commenting. That's all right. I like you all anyway. Okay, so go if you want to play. Uh, uh, you use that link there. And if you know other families in your life uh, that go, these people would love to, to play, shoot them that. Um, it's it's going to be super fun, super easy, and you're going to win some uh, great prizes. And hopefully it's helpful uh, in, and around, in and around Christmas. And mm -hmm. so there's Lori Lynn saying hi to us. Hello, Lori Lynn. Look at that. People still, people did say hi. hi. Ah, warms my heart. Warms my heart. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you soon. Fill out that application and uh, looking forward to having a fun game show together. We're really looking forward to blessing the community. Um, and uh, even on this Saturday, uh, we're doing our Kindness Center uh, Christmas gift distribution as a part of this campaign. And so um, our teams are going to be going uh, through all throughout the city and uh, and blessing families with groceries and, and, and gift stuff, even uh, from different local businesses. So cannot wait. It's going to be a great Saturday. Okay, so... This Friday night and this Saturday night, we are headed to Brayside. Our uh, living nativity is uh, going mobile and going drive through in, in COVID world. So we're going to be out at Brayside Camp for uh, the drive through Christmas. Um, it's uh, Friday night and Saturday night out at Brayside. This is a video that we did earlier this week as a little bit of a tee up for uh, what's happening this weekend. 
it's the shepherd here. Well, normally around this time, we would be down singing and dancing at Harmony Square. Well, unfortunately, we can't do that this year, but we do have an exciting announcement. For 11 years, we've done the Living Nativity in Harmony Square. It's been an amazing time, and many people in the city have made it a family tradition around Christmas time. Well, as you know, this Christmas is a little bit different, and we're not able to do the Living Nativity in Harmony Square. But listen, we have a great plan for you. We get to partner this year with friends at Brayside Camp. It's a, it's a short drive out of town, just outside of Paris. You're going to love it. And you're going to see me and the shepherds and an angel and other things. It'll be great. Please come. It'll be wonderful. We're very excited to be partnering with the drive through Nativity out at Brayside Camp. Mark Giancola from Brayside, tell us a bit more. Hi, everyone. All you that are used to seeing the, uh, the downtown living Nativity scene, we welcome you to Brayside Camp. Uh, 110 East River Road. We're so excited that we can do the uh, nativity scene out here. We're doing a drive-through version of the nativity scene so you can stay in the comfort of your car, drive around and see all the scenes and enjoy the nativity scene. Hope to see you, see you out to our camp. December 11th and 12th out at Brayside Camp. Bring some canned food to be able to bless the Brantford Blessing Center and it's the drive-through nativity. And next year, we will see you back downtown for the living nativity. Definitely a different time in life, but uh, that's where we're at. And that's what we're doing right now. So, so be it. We're going to get through it and we're going to get through it stronger. And hopefully next year we're going to be able to have the living nativity downtown. But uh, hey, I talked with uh, Anna Olson, uh, who is the curator out at Glenhurst Art Gallery, where they do uh, the Branford Lights as a part of my, my local TV show this week and she was saying that they're having a record year of people coming through to see the Glenhurst lights and so that bodes well for this drive through nativity out of Brayside uh, because uh, there's not a lot of stuff to do and this is something to do so plan on coming and uh, pick, packing up the fam and driving through Brayside either Friday night or Saturday night and uh, the shepherds are going to be out there uh, and uh, and an angel one of my carols is going to be an angel uh, and uh, I'll, I'll give you a hint it's Aislinn. So she she said, I didn't know whether she wanted to be an angel or not, but she goes like, nah, this is like Freedom House Rite of Passage, being, in, being the angel in the living nativity. So she's going to be the angel of the drive through nativity. So it's going to be fun. So that's uh, Friday and Saturday night, and it's going to be a great weekend, blessing the, the community. We've got some surprises for our Freedom House family even coming next week. And um, and then Wednesday is the wonderful Brantford Game Show. And uh, we hope to see you Sunday. If you're coming to church, make sure you register at freedomhouse.ca. And uh, it's going to be another wonderful Sunday. Let me just pray for you. Lord, I thank you for my friends. I thank you for um, the fact that we get to be a part of the thrill of hope and being injectors of hopium right into the veins of our community. Lord, we just pray uh, that, uh, that you show us how to be hopium dispensers tonight how do we bless uh bless others and encourage them with uh with hope it's a thrill to be able to be a part of what you're uh, doing as your kingdom is coming on earth as it is in heaven we just pray this in jesus name amen have a great night everybody